At least 15 people are dead and scores remain buried in the rubble after Russian rockets pummeled apartment buildings in eastern Ukraine, the latest brutal attack on civilians as the invading forces seek to capture the rest of the Donbas region. Rescuers helped by heavy equipment looked for survivors under the debris Sunday in Chase of Yar, a town of about 12, 000 people in the northern half of the Donetsk province where three buildings in a residential area were destroyed late Saturday. Authorities said six people have been rescued. One building had its sides completely shorn off by the impact of the strike, but rescuers continued their efforts in the rain despite the dangerous conditions. The thud of artillery on the nearby front line resonated just a few miles away, making some workers flinch and others run for cover when it got too close. After taking control of the Luhansk province, the Russians have set their eyes on seizing the Donetsk, which would give them full command of the Donbas. Chasev Yar is 12 miles southeast of Kramatorsk, a major Russian target. Latest developments The first few hundred Ukrainians to train in the U. K have started to receive instruction at sites across Britain in an effort to replenish the ranks with up to 10, 000 new recruits. They will be trained in weapons handling, battlefield first aid and patrol tactics, the UK Ministry of Defence said. Ukraine Deputy Prime Minister, Irina Vershchuk, told residents of Russian-occupied southern areas to flee ahead of an upcoming massive fight in the areas near Kherson and Zaporiz. USA Today on Telegram, join our Russia-Ukraine war channel to receive updates straight to your phone Russia and Ukraine share the blame, perhaps equally, for the March 11th attack on a nursing home in the eastern province of Luhansk that caused a fire, killing dozens of vulnerable civilians, a new you. Ukrainian officials faulted the invading forces entirely for the brutality near the village of Starokreya Sanyanka, but the report points out Ukrainian troops took up positions inside the nursing home, effectively making it a target. At least 22 of the 71 patients survived the assault, but the exact number of people killed remains unknown, according to the United Nations. In five hours of talks in their first-to-face meeting since October, U.S. 